Greetings and salutations, internet friends, and welcome back to another episode of the First Time Film Club. My name is Emily, your titular week first timer. This is Matthew, my husband, Cinema Sherpa, and viewer submitted title Cinematic First Contact Coordinator. Oh, yeah. I like it. Yeah, I think well, it's appropriate. Although I don't know if you'd want me coordinating the first contact. I don't know. I think you'd be pretty good yeah. at it. You're like, hello, yeah. aliens. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We'd either be destroyed or they just ignore us forever. <laughs> <laughs> that one was submitted by Davy Boy 108080. I think I said that right. You two can submit titles for Matthew by dropping them in the comments below using hashtag title makes it easier for me to find. And of course, we have the most important person, Pippin. He's our cat. Uh, he loves naps, as you can see. Uh, he takes naps up here and sometimes he takes them on the floor. So if he disappears, that's where he went. For those of you joining us for the first time, hello, how are you? Welcome. What we're doing here is watching our way through a very long list of movies that typically I've never seen, but that Matthew has, a Cinema Sherpa. Mm -hmm. That being said, I do know this is one of our Just Some Superfan Patreon picks. What is the movie we're watching? Today, we are watching the 2011 sci-fi comedy, Paul. And as per usual, I give you the year, genre, and title. You go out whatever you already know, then we watch the movie and review it. So what do you know about Paul? So I know this one has Simon Pegg and Nick Frost uh, because I love the Cornetto trilogy. Um, them boys is hilarious. They can do no wrong. Mm -hmm. And there's an alien named Paul, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and I'm assuming shenanigans and antics ensue. Um, that's it. I really think that's all you need to know. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I personally, I think. <laughs> you may be right. We'll oh. see. All right. Well, then for first time viewers, the only other thing is you may see me with my phone in my hand at some point during the movie. It's because I take notes on things to talk about afterwards. And that being said, I'm ready to watch. Let's go. Oh. Puppy. Go on then, Paul. Don't be long. <sighs> Oh, snap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, rude. <laughs> Fantasy nerds. Mm hmm. Comic Con, yay! <laughs> What's funny is I'm literally leaving to go to a convention tomorrow. Yep. <laughs> Don't judge. That there is a black vampire. Watch out. Hmm. She bites. <laughs> Are you gonna get it? Just shot it. I can't believe we're gonna meet Adam Shadow John. Aw. Don't tell me. You're a writer. <gasps> I am. Yeah. I'm sure, it's good. That is a wonderful cover. Three tits. Three tits. <laughs> yep. Every time. <laughs> <laughs> is that the RV place? Yes. Is it here? It's in the car park. I think you mean the parking lot. I sure do. Oh no! <laughs> it's no. American voice. <laughs> You're doing great. Oh, going on a road trip, huh? Well, you know what? Better way to follow Comic Con than a tour of America's most famous UFO hotspots. <laughs> He's like, can I just put the suit down? I really want to go. Believe in aliens? What do you mean, aliens? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I could never have the balls to rent an RV in a country that I'm unfamiliar with and drive around. Where's your sense of adventure? Oh my God, I love it so much. Yes! <laughs> People. <laughs> that would be us. So happy. Reenacting the scene. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Watch the skies. We're alien on board. Hey. Mm-hmm. Who the hell is Adam Shadowfell? Jenny Starpepper and the Great Brass Hen. The robot's mistress? Yeah, I like romances. That's kind of a romance. Between a woman and a machine? Uh, yes. Yeah. I hear that. Yeah, girl, yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, could I have an E.T. malt, please? Oh, and he goes, good, 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 Oh, God. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. I forget his name. <laughs> Wish Matt Damon. Jesse Plemons. Yeah. Here it comes. Oh, no. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> what are you doing? Don't 
Don't you put those queer eyes on me. Oh, no, I forgot the sticker. I doubt very much we'll be seeing them again. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yep, there it is. That wasn't their truck, was it? Nah. Nah. No. No. Nope. Nope. Mm -mm. It's an ugly truck anyway. <laughs> Black mailbox. What would you do if they actually landed? Well, I mean, first contact is a big responsibility, isn't it? Mm hmm They come in peace, we go to pieces. Uh -uh. That's not how I roll. <laughs> do you think that's those men? No. <laughs> I've just decided to, to believe no. Oh, that's not them. He's not them. <laughs> what the hell? Oh my God, what the hell? Oh, Lord have mercy. Maybe you should go for help. Put the phone <gasps> down. <laughs> <laughs> I really need your help, okay? Can we get this guy back on your wagon? Are you going to probe us? Uh, Why does everyone always <laughs> assume that? What am I doing? Am I harvesting farts? <laughs> I'm Paul. Paul? It's a nickname that's stuck. I, I My ship crashed on a... Dog, it doesn't matter. And if you don't help me, I could die on this road tonight. I don't know. We're on quite a tight schedule. Oh, my God. Man, sometimes she's got to roll the dice. What do you say? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Help me grab him. Let's... This man's Peter's pants. <laughs> you recognize Paul, right? Yes. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, Seth Rogen. Just had to make sure. <laughs> Gotta get as much distance as we can between us and the big guy. Oh boy, who's the big guy? <laughs> Soil. Wow. Looks like he hitched a ride, too. <sighs> what do you mean? Tire tracks. Bastard jacked a native? Little fucker might have phoned home. <laughs> That's a Gorney Weaver. It may be. Listen, I got two rookies on a special mission 75 clicks north of you. I'll have them set up a roadblock. People get in accidents all the time. I like your thinking. Oh no. Bad guy, Jason Bateman. Heads <laughs> up. Oh my we god. Just this nice. movie has everybody. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah, you may recognize quite a few people. Okay. This movie is a win based just solely on cast. Okay, okay. This this could be it. So, what are we looking for again? I don't know. He's got some Adam Shadow Child. Who the hell's Adam Shadow Child? Jenny Stompepper and the huge white gibbon. <laughs> What is this, nerd porn? Ah, three tits. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. The government used some kind of neurotoxic paint on the black mailbox. Oh. Forced us to suffer a shared hallucination about an alien. It makes complete sense. Oh. Ah. Oh, uh. oh uh, it's, it's a camouflage response. Or like Predator. Exactly. Although I can only do it while I'm holding my breath. But you can do it anytime you want. Anytime. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't I go make some bagels and coffee? What if we wake up and find him inserting a probe into our anus? He said he wouldn't do that. Apparently they don't do that. Anyone want one of these? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That's just bad timing. That's all that is. Nerds, huh? Yes, they're coming from Comic-Con. They met Adam Shadowchild. Who the hell is Adam Shadowchild? He wrote uh, Jenny Starpepper and the Spitting Worm. Does it keep changing? Okay. What'd you find? Uh, nothing much. Just a book with a green woman with three... <laughs> Titties. <laughs> titties. <laughs> Three tits. That's awesome. <laughs> Pissy jeans. Oh, yeah. Pissed on himself. I don't know if he had a close that pre-existing problem. Listen to me, frickin' fuck. I want everything you can remember about the pissy nerds, okay? We're leaving. Jason Bateman is scary. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Reese's Pieces. <laughs> well, that's just on the nose, mm -hmm. you know. Just a little. Let's just say I spent a long time at that base thinking I was a guest. Turns out I was a prisoner. I got it all under control. What was that? A boyd? Yeah, it's a boyd. No. Uh, what, uh, what are you doing? No. Just watch. Unless you can eat it. Something terrible. Oh, okay. You subverted me. <laughs> There it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> if you think about it, it's time traveling. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just don't make me look fat, okay? <laughs> gravity adds ten pounds. <laughs> Have you ever done that to a person? No, not a dead person. It's actually really dangerous for me. The, the damage can actually bounce back onto me. Are you tired, sausage? 
<laughs> Sausage. Something doesn't feel right. I think he had help on the inside. I want those nerves iced and that little green prick either back in his fishbowl or dead ASAP. Oh, God. Awfully quiet. Quiet's good, Graham. Quiet's our friend. Hi there. <laughs> Sure. Yeah, um, park in Bay 9. It's uh, $25 a night, including hookups, and I'll need an ID to hold on to. I love the UK. Uh, have you been? No. You <laughs> should go. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh no, 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 babe! <laughs> Why are you here, Paul? I kind of crashed. Lucky for me, though, this little girl, she pulls me out of the wreck. Next thing I know, guys arrive, cart me off to the base. <laughs> What have you been doing here all this time? I've been advising the government. Not just the government. Oh. Okay, Steven. Uh, how about cellular revivification? Yeah. What's that mean? It means healing, Mr. Spielberg. Yeah, right. Okay. Healing. Oh, oh my God. You notice the warehouse. Top men. And yes, that was Steven Spielberg. Oh, okay. Good morning. Uh, may I come in? It's a nice t-shirt. Oh, thanks. I got it at my church. It's Jesus <gasps> shooting Charles Darwin. of his blasphemous theories. Are you men of God? <laughs> We're men of science. The world is 4,000 years old and oh. can only be the product of intelligent design. That's horseshit. Oh. Evolution, baby. Oh, blasphemy. That God made heaven and earth and created us all okay. in his own image. I got a question. How do you explain me? Come on, she's fine. Catch me. Oh. <laughs> I love the step back. <laughs> they fucking have to take it with us now. No. This is America. Kidnapping a Christian, that's worse than harboring a fugitive. Uh-huh. Hmm. If, if, if we leave her, then she's going to call the police. This shit. No one's going to believe this God-bothering Cyclops. Let's just... <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to go after her like that. All right. What about my passport? Mm. Oh, oh, my passport. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, no. Ruth, what in the Lord? Morning. <laughs> Morning. <laughs> I love the the morning. <laughs> oh, that's too much for Pippin. Oh, how fortuitous! Wow, wow. You've been deceived by an agent of Satan himself. Oh, this is some life I'm talking about now. Fuck this. I didn't call the government. I called the police. The government. <laughs> oh my god. I tell us what we're looking for. I told you this is a need to know operation. Yes, sir, but maybe we need to know? No. Okay. That's fine. So there's no heaven. No hell, no right, no wrong. I can drink? If you like. I can fornicate? Maybe. I can curse. Oh yeah. Penises. <laughs> That's not a curse. Ruth, I'm not sure this is helping. <laughs> oh! What are, you, what are you doing? Ah, 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 ah. Why, why should I stop? Ah. This is <laughs> What do you got there? Severe upper retinal membrane complicated by macular edema in your left vitreous cavity. How did you know that? Do you mind if I take a look at it for one second? Oh. How did you do that? Evolution, baby. Aww. Aww. <laughs> you gonna get there? Oh no! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Just, we're, we're cool! Hey there, sleepy face. Fuckaroo, that was the best titty farting sleep I have ever had. <laughs> Cursing spawn, you just gotta pick your moments, okay? Maybe we should stop for some food. Is anybody hungry? Fuck yeah! Ruth? You bet your big fat cock I am. <laughs> uh -huh, inventive! Oh lord. <gasps> oh no! Mm -hmm. How did y'all not notice? Also, are they on the same road trip as y'all? <laughs> Same song. <laughs> oh. Who is this? It's not dangerous. He's kind of rude. And a couple times I've seen him scratch his space man balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it's 
me. I have to get to my friends. What's the rush? I got a friend down here that'd love to meet you. We got to go now. Do? Holy shit. It's the space baggage that ding the fuckmobile. Yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh, we're going to have a brawl. There's always sailors in a bar fight. Always. Mr. Mayor, I'll talk to them. Oh, no. <laughs> Yo, fuck nuts. It's probing time. Oh! Um. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get some beers. Find somewhere to chill. What do you say? What if someone sees you? It's dead out there. And I can do this. <gasps> well, I'm a little bit tired. Don't be a pussy. Huh? All right. <laughs> You gentlemen seen anything unusual this evening? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, I tell you, else was funny. It was when you kissed me yesterday. Do it again if you like. What? I said you can do it again if you like. Oh, what do you mean? Oh, well, no. No, right, I thought so. you meant. No, I did. But we can. No, let's do it now. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you guys partake? I'll partake. <laughs> it's pretty strong shit. I get it from the military, actually. This is the stuff that killed Dylan. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Isn't he? Oh. It's not so bad. I think, to be fair, it takes a while to be absorbed. In <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why do you guys hate me? No. Oh. Can we cook up some sausages? Oh, I have wasps in my brain. Oh, no. She'll be fine. Jeez. That happened to me the first time. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Seth Rogen. I told them everything I know. The only thing I have left off for them now are my abilities. I do have one friend left on the inside. I got my people primed and ready to pick me up. So what happens if you get caught? Cool? They're gonna cut out my brain. That's unfortunate. It's kind of a buzzkill. Let's lighten the mood, shall we, Clive? When did you last get laid? Uh -huh. Ewok chick. <laughs> Clive likes boning space bears. <laughs> 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 what was it like? She was furry nice. Ah! <laughs> ah! We gotta get out of here. Ah. I want a Ming the Merciless shirt so badly. Mm -hmm. Guys, I think we have a slight problem over here. I can't hold my breath the whole way through town. Could get him a great big hoodie. Why are we holding hands? <laughs> we look like a family. <laughs> Fucking Freedmans. <laughs> One tip. Well, look, I can appreciate it's a bargain and everything, but this is not Comic Con now, okay? This is reality. It's post economy anyway. It'll break the first time you use it. Let's go. <laughs> Hello, handsome. Is that you? What's your name? Keith Nash. You might take a look at these photographs. Tell me if you recognize either one of these two gentlemen or the one eyed girl. Well, you should get this one. Thanks. Yeah, it's good. Oh. Nice. Happy trails. Ah, 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 run, face, ah, face. <laughs> Spaceman balls. <laughs> no. No, dude, no, no, dude, no, no, no. Get your goddamn hands off my motherfucking junk. <laughs> That's just an asshole in a mask. Oh no. Holy Mary, mother of God. <laughs> quit smoking. <laughs> Hurry up, my cracks! Hey, look, it's that nerd. <laughs> yeah, Keith Nash! Oh, yeah! Who's that kid? Keith Nash! <laughs> you guys get me some information? We saw it. We saw the alien. It was in the comic book shop. It was hideous. I think I shit my pants. <laughs> I'm sick and tired of being in the dark hey, on this. Where oh. did he go? You kids are going to go back to the base. Uh huh. Daddy's gonna stick behind, do a little adult work. Oh, God, Graham, drive faster. Oh, wait, Dad! Oh, calm down. Those ass horns are gonna catch us. Ass horns? <laughs> That's it. The, the, oh, this my is God. too dangerous. I'm, I can make it on my own from here. I think we've come too far to let you do this alone. We are in this together, Paul. Bet your hairy love eggs we are. What? <laughs> hairy love eggs. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. If, if, if you're absolutely sure, there is a little something you can do for me. <laughs> it's 
It was rather fitting. The five tones. You'll Is that get that referencing when, something. You'll get it when we watch another movie. Two ninety nine. Nine. Oh no. Oh no! You did not steal fireworks from rednecks. Okay, we're nearly there. This is where we've been heading. No, I, I just need to make a little stop first, okay? We're here with the alien that killed your dog 60 years ago. Uh. Hey, Tara. That's a very loud clock. Isn't it? <laughs> Maybe I should hmm. make some tea. I'll do it. Uh, look, Tara, I... I only just stopped believing in you. Oh, turn, turn off the, turn off the gaze. Oh, I'm sorry, you know, if, if I could have done it any other way. Oh, it's okay. You're real. That's all that matters. And all those folks that said I was crazy, well, they can all just go fuck themselves. <laughs> <laughs> Brought something for you. Uh, I thought you might want it back. Here you go. Oh. <sighs> Oh no! Oh! Oh no! Oh no, Boyle, you're about to get exploded. Oh, I got you, sucker. Coming. Ready or not. <sighs> Papa! Wait! It's okay, he's alive. He's alive, come on, let's go. <laughs> oh, my weed! <laughs> Uh oh. Oh, I mean, fucking titty sucking two ball bitch. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. This isn't your mission. I'm on a mission from God. Oh, Lord. Oh, shit. That was a good line. Who? <laughs> Haggard ain't fucking around. Oh fuck! Come on! Smile, you son of a bitch! Eyes <laughs> forward, butthorn. Oh. oh, oh, oh no! <laughs> oh, with the hit with the wheel hill. <laughs> Think he'll be okay? No. Yeah, he'll be fine. In one fuck up after another, I should have handled this myself. They're mine, damn it! I'm gonna finish this once and for all. Too late, Soil. I'm bringing in the big gun. Oh. Boring conversation, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> all of the references. Oh. Oh, where you going? Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh huh. Tell you, fellas, you know it when you saw it. There's another movie you haven't seen. Oh. If you had, you would have known where they were going. Oh. Or you would have had a good idea. Oh. No, go away. We're enjoying fireworks. Jason Bateman, stop it. Go back to the Ozarks. <laughs> Is it a helicopter? With Sigourney Weaver in it? Wait a minute. Yep. Well, what do you know? Yep. Mm -hmm. Small world. Paul! Soil? Oh, damn! <gasps> oh! Jesus. What is happening? Oh, is he the guy on the inside? He might be. He introduced me to my wife. He's my friend. Oh. You could have been where I am in 15 years. I don't want to be where you are. What do you think you can possibly bring to the table at this point in the game? Blind fury. Oh no, you're gonna get shot. No! 
<laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Kick her! Kick her! No, not not him! Her! Get away from her, you bitch! <laughs> Ruth! What? A oh lord! Oh, the Bible saved him. What the hell? That was close. <sighs> oh my. We've, we've had a good time, haven't we? Yeah. But you got shot. <laughs> but I can honestly say, Clive, this is the most fun I have ever had. I've got to try, right? <laughs> Okay, okay, thank God. Okay. Uh. I don't even get to eat them. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that really, really dangerous? Sometimes you just gotta roll the dice. Oh. Sorry you got killed by my dad. <laughs> that's, that's fine. Do you wanna try that kiss again? Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Well, ain't this? <laughs> like I said, I don't want to be where you are. Yep. Say bye to Karen for me. Safe trip, short round. <laughs> oh, you're coming with me. What? I ruin your life. Think it's only right I give you a new one. I don't have my toothbrush. <laughs> where we're going? You don't need teeth. <laughs> huh. Interesting. <laughs> what did you think of the book? Uh, I kind of find it hard to finish, to be honest. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Keep it for the journey home if you like. Very tits. Awesome. <laughs> thank you, guys. No, thank you. Yeah, thanks, Paul. Hugs? Aww. <laughs> oh god. It takes off very slowly. It's so <laughs> awkward. <laughs> oh. That was good, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, good day. Good day. Good day. Good day. Sorry, who are you? Someone who loves you. Oh! <laughs> Welcome. The team behind this year's multi Nebulon award winning bestseller. These are these are friends of mine. Oh, uh -huh. I didn't realize you were so damn pretty. You should see me out of these crazy clothes. <laughs> I'd like that. Oh, <laughs> I can't. I can't. <laughs> Apparently, they are citing me as the oh. as the well, fuck, I, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Well, fuck, okay, you know? Oh, you just gotta <laughs> lead him off stage. Wait. Oh, hey, what's up? <laughs> okay, so that was Paul. Mm -hmm. Overall thoughts? I mean, that was fun. A bunch of people that I love as far as, like, cast and a uh, funny premise. Yeah, I figured you'd recognize a lot of folks. Yeah, um, a lot of nerd references, a lot of homages. Um, this was definitely a love letter to nerds, and I love it for that. Um, the CGI on Paul was great. Like, I was genuinely impressed by that, especially like his eyes. I, I enjoyed this, this is a good time. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So you just want to go to notes? Um, I mean, nothing, nothing is expressly jumping out at me that I need to talk about. So okay. let's go to notes and then I'll elaborate as things come up. Uh, so this was directed by Greg Matola. Okay. Who I believe the only other film of his you have seen is Superbad. Okay. All right. So 
He's done, I mean, he's done several films, but that's mm-hmm. the only one I believe you've seen of his. Uh, you mentioned the Cornetto trilogy. Mm-hmm. This was actually originally going to be directed by Edgar Wright. Okay. But he was working on another project, mm-hmm. a little film called Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. You know what? You know what? I think it worked out. I think I that's that a good, movie. this is, this was a good, yeah, this was a good thing. <laughs> Uh, also, Simon Pig and Nick Frost came up with the idea of this while they were working on Shaun of the Dead. Okay. They just started spitballing the idea. They actually drew a picture of Paul giving the finger. Not the one that's in the yeah. movie, but actually when you go back and re-edit it in the, uh, the end credits, mm-hmm. you'll see their original drawing. I love that. Uh, I also read that uh, Simon Pig and Nick Frost wanted to do this basically as you've pointed out the references and the homages tributes to movies of the past specifically Spielberg movies and it was when Spielberg heard about it he suggested he have a cameo in the movie. Oh. and he did the voiceover <laughs> where you know Paul is giving him inspiration and notes yeah <laughs> which I thought was great yeah that was a <laughs> Because I love all the references, especially to the Spielberg movies, like and just all the movie references they make in general. Mm-hmm. Uh, the movies I grew up with, loving, you know, there was E.T., there was uh, Get Away from Her, You Bitch from Aliens, mm-hmm. the Smile, You Son of a Bitch from Jaws. Mm-hmm. It was <laughs> Short Round, Indiana Jones. It's uh, just it's constant, good to, yeah, shooting the constant knots. Yeah, shooting the the walkie-talkie, you know, boring conversation. Yeah, anyway. yeah, Star Wars. Yeah, yeah. I, I love those. <laughs> this was very much on the nose with like who it's targeting and exactly what it's trying to do, and I think it absolutely nailed it. Like mm-hmm. you you want to showcase mm-hmm. nerdy uh, pop culture references, and you know who's going to watch it. And guess what? We were pretty happy about it. <laughs> yes, very much so. It's kind of like, it's reminiscent in a way of like Ready Player One, you know, the, the yeah, movie. But not as on the nose, yeah. not as like... Just pure right nonstop yeah. fan service, you know. Also speaking of their inspiration for the movie, they, uh, Simon Pegg and Nick Frost actually rented an RV and drove along the same path they were supposed to in the, in the movie. <laughs> And they stopped at a little inn called the Ailey Inn. Mm -hmm. And they talked to a very chatty waitress and some what they call belligerent locals. Oh, no. So that was the inspiration for uh, some scenes in the film and some characters. Okay. Write what you know. (laughs) Yeah. Or, you know, draw inspiration from real life experiences. Mm -hmm. Yep. I was talking about Edgar Wright. He was doing another project. Uh, also, Seth Rogen was busy with another project at the time, uh, The Green Hornet. So, Joe Lotrulio, Boyle, mm-hmm. stood in for Paul, like, for a lot of his scenes. And, like, doing his, basically acting as Paul so uh, Nick Frost and Tom Pig had someone to yeah. act off of. Yeah. So, he did that. And it was after they wrapped, uh, Seth Rogen came in, did the voice work, and motion capture suit. Okay. Was wondering who did the mocap for it, like if it was actually Seth Rogen. It was or... Seth Rogen okay. and uh, Joe Lo Trujillo did the what he couldn't do while he was away. So gotcha. he stood in, so he had like a secondary role in the film. Was okay. Hold on. Was he? Did he live? Did his character survive? Was he in uh, the crowd? Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was one of the crowd that uh, had a burned face. Okay. Well, and he was saying, fair enough. Like he was screaming at him. I know those guys. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's what I thought, but it was like moved pretty fast. But <laughs> love it. I'm happy he lived. He was a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> uh, speaking of also of like secondary roles and roles in general, uh, Bill Hader was originally cast to be Paul. Oh. Oh. I mean, I could see that. I could oh, see I definitely it. Definitely see it. I really like Seth Rogen there, though. Like, I don't know why. It just, it tickles me to think of him as an alien. <laughs> like, somehow it feels right. Yeah. Like, like <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like, what? But then you think about it for five seconds, and you're like, no, I'm 100% on board. Yep, absolutely. Mm-hmm. We were talking about the other day about, uh, I think when we watched First Blood, mm-hmm. we were talking about studios and how they have a say in the movie and they only get it right like one out of a hundred times yeah, maybe maybe uh well maybe this might be interesting for you to know it was the studio's uh suggestion to have seth rogan do the voice 
Okay. Uh, yeah. Simon Pegg, Nick Frost, they were talking about this was a uh, big budget movie for them. It mm-hmm. was actually more expensive. This movie was more expensive than Shaun of the Dead and Hot Fuzz put together. I can see that. And they said that what came along with that with a big studio movie is like they had to make compromises. Mm-hmm. And they said not so much in a negative sense. It's just they envision someone older being the voice of Paul. They were thinking Jack Nicholson, maybe. Oh. But then the studio recommended, they suggested Seth Rogen, and they were like, yeah, we like that. Yeah. He has a very, very distinguishable voice. And also, like, his tone fits this movie. I can't really see, like, Jack Nicholson. I, I just don't see how that would work with this movie. I don't know. I think it'd be interesting. Though. I mean, <laughs> I would certainly give it a look, see, but uh, I think they made actually a good choice with Seth Rogen, so... You know what, studios? Congratulations. <laughs> Some people might disagree. I don't know. I don't know. I always like uh, whenever Seth Rogen's brought up, it's always like one end of the spectrum or the other. Either people yeah. love him or hate him. I'm a I'm a lover. I follow him on Instagram. I love like his pottery stuff. Like I'm a big Seth Rogen fan. So his pottery stuff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wink. Uh, but yeah, that's that's pretty much most of the notes I have. So you want to? Go to ratings. Sure. Um, Was there anything else you wanted to talk about before we rate? I mean, like, I, again, it's just sort of, I see this movie as like the whole, like, I loved the cast. I loved the premise. The jokes were funny. Mm-hmm. Um, I was the audience that they targeted. And guess what? I enjoyed your product. Good job, boys. Um, Kristen Wiggs, awkward cursing. <laughs> Um, It's almost like I almost wish that I weren't as good at picking out voices sometimes because the Sigourney Sigourney Weaver reveal would have been like, whoa. Um, But like. caught that one. I wasn't surprised at that. I I was happy, though, that you thought you were wrong about the bird. Yeah. (laughs) You were like, you called it at first. Like, was it going to eat him? And then I was like, damn. And like, and then. (laughs) And then he said, oh, no, he's good. He just brought him back to life. And I was like, yes. <laughs> got her. I was I was double subverted. They got me once and they got me again. Um, I mean, I, I don't know. I just enjoyed this. This mm-hmm. was a good time. Like, right. this is a solid eight for me. This is a solid eight. Like, I would absolutely rewatch this. Um, mm-hmm. It tickled me. And um, it had Simon Pegg and Nick Frost. I mean, that's, that's a... That's... That's a five right off the bat. If they're in there, that's a five minimum. Okay. So, yeah, eight. What about you? Uh, same. Same okay. for me. Eight. Nice, nice. Pippin? Oh. <laughs> he said, oh. Uh, well, how many, how many beans? All right. Pippin? You. Oh, you're so extra. How many beans? Ten little green men beans? <laughs> okay. That tracks. That's, that's work. <laughs> <laughs> he said I didn't say that at all. All right. Well, eight for me. Eight for you. Ten. For sure. For you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, you guys let us know. What did you think about the movie? Did you enjoy it? What would you think if it would have been Jack Nicholson? <laughs> <laughs> did you have any fun behind the scenes tidbits, information? You know the drill. You know what we want. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to like the video. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do so. We really appreciate it. I think that's going to be all for me. Anything else for me? I'm good. Pippin is staring off into the void. <laughs> <Is it up? laughs> I heard my name. You're a silly willy. You guys take care. We will see you next time with another first time. Bye. <laughs>